My name is Pedro Lash, and uh, I don't believe in shock doctrine. Uh, <laughs> I do not support it, but I do think we should talk about it. Um, and we have to deal with it. But basically, uh, a few months ago, I finished presenting. We saw, we saw some works, and you had a conversation about Cuba earlier in the day. Great work there. And a few months ago, I also finished presenting a work there um, called Art Biennial, uh, at the Havana Biennial. It was a work called Art Biennials and Other Global Disasters, right? And of course, you could ask me, well, why would you want to show that in a biennial? Uh, it's for once because I believe we have to be able to embrace the intense contradictions and paradoxes that we're faced with in life. Uh, sometimes we can think of an inside and an outside, but sometimes that's difficult, if not impossible. It's in that situation where I feel as artists, as intellectuals, as activists, and scholars, whatever we are, or just civilians, we must face this contradiction. So I try to do work whenever I can that just embraces and confronts these contradictions. Um, some of you were here yesterday uh, for this initial performance with the singers performing four anthems simultaneously in the wrong languages. And uh, today is the kind of bookend to that. I see it as one you know, work, along with these 48 flags that have been here and will still be here tomorrow. Uh, but today is quite different because I don't think we can, I would not have done yesterday without today. But today does not rely on me, it relies on you. Because one of the intense contradictions or paradoxes that we've been dealing with in the last few days, especially in the context of creative time and all the amazing work they do with social practice, uh, and it's a practical contradiction, it's not easy to, to resolve, is this line right here, right? Stodilitz, this amazing set that Stodilitz produced, already broke this paradox, right? Look at those things, they're over there, they're not here. So I hope everybody's been paying attention to them. But so the next seven minutes, I would love to break this contradiction with you. But it won't happen if we don't all participate. I will also step over here, and we will be watching a video. Uh, and so I will describe in, in a moment how that will work. But what is this paradox or contradiction about? We've heard it over and over again. The teacher, the students. The artist, the audience, the performer, the public, you name it, the physician, the patient, right? And Roland Barthes once said many years ago, many decades ago, that to, to reinvent politics and the act of listening, we must first dismantle the modes of listening of the disciple, the patient, and the consumer, right? So hopefully we can do a little bit of that now. So what I will invite you to do is to basically uh, participate in a collective experiment of sorts. Um, it will be short, so, and I'm aware that I'm asking some of you to do something that may be a bit uncomfortable, not too much, so don't worry. <laughs> Nothing embarrassing. Uh, we will be using our bodies, we will be using our eyes, we will be using our voices, and we will be using our tongues, right? Literally, our tongues, like our tongues in our mouth, but also our languages. Because it's very important to not just witness something else happening on stage, it's, that's very different than embodying it and enacting it. So, um, first of all, I would like to invite all of you here who speak Spanish or understand it, even if just a little bit, just un poquito, to please stand up. Todos los que hablan o, o entienden español, aunque sea un poco, por favor, levántense. Okay, great. Now, uh, everybody who has ever heard, even just once, the United States National Anthem, please rise. Todos los que han escuchado el himno de Estados Unidos, por lo menos una vez, por favor, levántense. Great. Okay. <laughs> now, can anybody who speaks Arabic please stand up? Okay. Can anybody who speaks Italian please stand up? Okay. Can anybody who speaks um, Chinese please stand up? Can anybody who speaks Hebrew please stand up? 
Okay, we're almost ready. Can anybody who has not stood up yet stand up, please? <laughs> All right, <laughs> great. We're ready to start. So it will be fast. These anthems are one minute long, so they will go fast. Think of them as, you know, uh, they're, they're a bit like uh, karaoke anthems. You may think of them like that. So okay, so we can play the video, and it will go very fast, six minutes. Oh. 